Hi, KB2MXV here, and I just wanted to show you uh, a way you can get out-of-band frequencies in your radio uh, to at least receive, not to transmit. So here I got a D878 CPS running. Um, I'm going to go create a new code plug, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is you got to put a radio ID in, otherwise it won't let you write the radio. So I'll just make this ID all ones. And I'm going to go to channel. So now you can see if I go to model and model info, I'm on mode zero, right? So 400 to 480. Let's just focus on that. 400 megahertz to 480 megahertz. So the default to first frequency is defaulted for 440. Let me double click in there. And I'm going to try to enter the frequency of 490.000, 490.000. And when I hit enter, you get a message, frequencies out of range, which makes sense because the code plug is 400 to 480, right? And the same thing would go if I tried to type in 510.000, right? Out of range. Okay. So let's take these frequencies you're seeing here, and actually I just want to make this uh, analog. It really doesn't matter, just, just to, for test purposes. All right, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to go Tools, Export. I'm going to export my channel list, and we're going to export it to my desktop, and we're going to call it just C for channels and I'm going to export so my export is complete so when I open up my export you want to take note the first two channels are the same 440 on channel 1 and 155 on channel 2 you need to get rid of these two uh, VFO channels when you want to bring this uh, CVS file back in but what if I was to tell you that the receive frequency of 440, which is right here, what if I told you you could type in 495.000 there? Again, you're not going to be able to transmit because you're out of band. And let's say on the channel 2, let's make this 510.110. All right, and let's make this a little more defined. So let's go 495.250. All right, and let's make the transmit the same. I mean, it's not going to transmit, but just to show you that this does work, 510.110. All right, so now let's save this CSV file. So here we have the, the uh, code plug we're working on. That is set for model zero, which is 400 to 480 megahertz. We can't type in frequencies above those megahertz, but can we import frequencies above those megahertz? Yes, you can. So now if I go to tools and import, and I go to import channels, and I take that c.csv file I just made, and hit import, import complete, Look at the frequencies that are in here. Now this will write to your radio. So you should be able to receive on these frequencies. You'll get a transmit error if you do try to transmit above the frequencies that the band is set for. But this will write to the radio. So uh, the theory of you have to clean out other code plugs if you change bands, it's not really true. If you do an import, uh, if there's channels above your code plug, KB2MXV.